Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. In this video we're going to take a look at a trace file and we're going to figure out why it's not connecting and throughout the trace file we'll get some tips and tricks. So the first thing we want to do is this three pane display. Uh, my personal opinion and preference is to get rid of the detail pane, which is that middle pane, and to get rid of the bytes. Uh, it used to remember those preferences but not anymore so until they fix it you've got to manually do that every single time get rid of the details and the bytes this allows us to focus on the trace file a little bit better when you need them you can always open the panes later the second thing is these two devices are on a local network and because they're both Microsoft they're using IPv4 and IPv6 by default so we should use a Mac filter when troubleshooting networks that allow both protocols so we go to statistics conversations and we're going to use the MAC address so we need to find the ones with the most packets and it's right here at the top right click apply as filter selected both ways now we can get rid of this and you can see the conversation so because they're obviously Microsoft they're using this LLMNR protocol. It's kind of a, a WINS replacement, if you will. It finds, it's like a NetBIOS broadcast. It finds each other based on name. So you can see the IPv6 and the IPv4 going out and getting resolved and so on and so on. Now, here's the connection request. You can see the SYN, right, using IPv6, and it gets rejected, reset. And of course, it tries again and reset, tries again and reset. So this happens a couple of times. Then you see the connection attempt again using the same port number 5001 and this time it works because it's IPv4 you see so this particular application which is iperf by the way was not fond of IPv6 and preferred IPv4 Now I've seen this with other applications as well so this is a worthwhile exercise to find out if you are connecting with IPv4 or IPv6 if 6 is failing because that is the preferred protocol by default what does that cost you in time so let's take a look at that Here's the first sin, and we want to find out how long that took. So the easiest way to do that, right click, and you probably want to mark the packet, and that's one way to do it, or you can set a time reference, which is what I'm going to show you right now. And there's my reference. Now I'm going to go to View, Time Display Format, and what I want to do is seconds since beginning of capture, and you'll see it's 22 seconds, and then there's my reference, right? and you can see the time gets reset if I come all the way down here for where it works so that cost us 22 well actually six seconds and then there was a delay and 22 so 22 seconds from the first attempt to when it worked so that is a noticeable delay for the average person there you go so I hope that little tip and trick helped and I just hope the general conversation helps as well have a good day bye for now